This is Make's new grid feature that's now available to everyone for free. But you might not know why it's a game changer for getting more automation clients and keeping them, how to use it and all the features it has, how it can save you hours and possibly customers emailing you that their automation is not working. So by the end of this video, you'll be a grid expert. So let's dive right in with step number one, how to get access. So just head to make.com and as you can see, they have made the grid available now to everyone. Before you had to join a wait list, but now you can get Get access by just clicking on login, entering your email and password. And I highly recommend going through my link in the description if you don't have a free account yet, because this will give you one month of the pro plan for free. Now that you're on the inside, you can see that the grid is available in the left side. You can click it here or you can go into your scenarios. As you can see now, something that is new is that you have this button that is show in grid. And this button is also new. If we go inside of an automation, you can see it in the top as well. And if we click on it, you can see that we enter into the grid view and go directly to the scenario that we just clicked the button from. But you might be wondering, what does it actually do? Well, the main thing is that it allows you to see everything at a top level view. This includes many different scenarios in one view. Whereas before, we would have to go into scenarios, we would probably have a folder, and we could see all the different scenarios right here. But to see the connections between them just by looking at them through the tabs in the top like this is sometimes a little bit confusing. So having the grid view really simplifies everything to know what's going on. As you can see, we have six automations in this one folder. And if we jump into the grid view, this allows us to see all the different scenarios and the interconnectedness. Like for example, you see all these ones are connected with the editor, which is a tab in our Airtable. And if we double click it, it allows us to jump into the automation system as well. So we know exactly which automations are running if we click on this button or this button, making it really easy to know what is going on and the connection between them. The same goes for Google Drive. If you have a database where you store a lot of videos, you can just double click it. And just like that, you're in the database where you're storing all this information. To get access to this before, you would literally have to go into a scenario. You would have to go into the Google Drive and sometimes you might not even get the folder location because it's nested within another module that gives the file ID and you would have to manually write it in the top. So allowing us to see all the make scenarios that are actually sending information to this drive folder makes it easy to see and very organized. Also, we can check out which scenarios we are actually writing to by checking out the arrows that are going up and down. You can see to the editor, we're actually writing and receiving from that Airtable base. But in the Google Drive, for example, we're only sending to that. I'll explain why this gives us a lot more customers in a minute and why it's a game changer for keeping your customers and hopefully avoiding them emailing you saying that the automation isn't running. But first, I wanna show you some filters. So if we zoom out and go to the highest level view, you can basically see them all now. Here are all the folders and the scenarios that are inside of them. If you click on select layer, you can see that you have explore. This basically hides any of the purple bubbles that I just showed you that shows operations. So this shows the most active right now. You can see this one, the social scraper is one that I use pretty regularly. And you can see that we've done 424 operations this month. In the bottom left-hand corner as well, you can see 5,737 operations the last 30 days. We can also select the layer and click on data transfer. This is critically important if you're sending a lot of megabytes over your automations. Like we have the vibe creator that generates videos. Those videos obviously take a couple of megabytes to download and to send. And data transfer is one of the pricing variables of your make plan. 
if you transfer a lot of data, you might need to step up to the next plan. So seeing it all here in this view allows you to basically cut cost where you can. You see the data in the bottom as well that allows you to basically keep track of how much you're spending each month. The same goes for operations. If you head over 10,000 operations for the month, you're obviously going to have to upgrade your plan. So allowing you to have this all in one nice view is very convenient. But I want to show you some more filters that will be even more important. Obviously, you can search anything here. So Airtable, for example, and you can find that we have 148 objects that are basically named Airtable right here or contains a link with Airtable as well. We can also search for webhooks. And here you can see all the webhooks that we have. If you click on the filters as well, we can click on enabled webhooks. And just like that, you will literally only see the webhooks and what they do. A quick tip here is to go to the bottom here and click on this align. This will auto align the entire scenario. So you just have this in view. This works perfectly if you have filters on and you just wanna see what's one thing that I do think that you'll find interesting without the search is if we take away all the filters, then we click on the filters tab here, then we click on active scenarios. You can just see your active scenarios. Again, we'll go to the bottom and click on this align button. And what happens now is that we have a view of only the active scenarios. This is where I like to hang out the most because it's not as cluttered with the unactive scenarios that I made uh, two years ago that I don't even know what does. But the grid view can actually help us with that as well. So one thing that I do a lot is to create actual automation systems with Airtable. But the thing is that I might make something and then I leave it for a bit and then I kind of come back to it. Hey, I remember I made that automation with that webhook and I don't really know what I named it and things like this. As you can see, we have created a bunch of them. One of them is one of these auto thumbnail automation systems that I created that creates these types of thumbnails automatically with AI generated clothes on. Yeah, just look at how snazzy that one is. Looking like a straight up prince. Well, this one collected dust for a bit. And so another way, if you don't have the naming convention correct, because sometimes I'm a little bit lazy with the naming, you can always go into the button that sends the webhook, copy the address right here, go back into the make grid and search for the webhook. As you can see, we had the webhook here. And so you can see that this is connected with the auto thumbnail. It's connected with the make thumb and all these other services. And that's how I found this automation. I actually named the folder and organized it now before this video. So those are some nice to have features that I just wanted to show. However, this one is the most important if you have clients and you have automations running for them. And that's the ability to click on select layer and select what needs attention. Just like that, you will see which scenarios have gotten errors. And this happens many times if you have clients that are running automations and silent updates can usually happen that breaks the automation. It might also be the client that changes the name of an Airtable column or a teammate that doesn't know what's going on and boom, the automation breaks many times without you even knowing. That leads the client to basically have social content that doesn't get posted. Leads that don't get scraped and put into a system. Customers stop getting a welcome email. And the only way that you know this is when the customer is mad and sending you an email where you go, oh no, I need to fix this now. So the grid can also be looked at as a dashboard, a place where you can basically wake up in the morning, check if everything is correct, or maybe you have a virtual assistant checking it multiple times a day. So nothing is broken so that you can be preemptive in checking the errors, fixing the errors because changes happen. And if an automation that you sold somebody breaks and they start sending you an email, they're already mad. So let's check out one and what happens if we click on it. And so here we can see that the scenario was deactivated because of an error. 
we can go into the scenario really easily we can check out the history and we can see that this error right here it happened about a week ago on this exact scenario and what happened was that we stopped using one of the api keys and you see that we got the unauthorized 401 and so this information is critical when it comes to actually running automations for other people you can go into the scenario you can click the http request you can change the bearer token or generate a new api key and you or your teammates or your clients can get back to running the automation system that you have set up really easily. And I gotta say that I love hanging out here a lot more than hanging out in just folders with names. This is also visual and organized in a lot better way. But one thing that I said earlier is that it allows you to get more clients. So let's talk about that as well. Well, say that you're trying to pitch somebody on actually setting up one of your automation systems, like for example, the Vibe Creator. So let's for example, say that you want to help somebody post content on social media. Well, one of the best ones that we have created right here that we give away to AI mates is the Vibe Creator C Dance. This is actually not finished. It comes out next week, early access available. To explain this to somebody that you might want to set this up for, imagine you show them this. First, we're gonna set up this for you, then this for you, then this and this and this and this, right? It's a little bit too intimidating in comparison if we just show them the Vibe Creator Airtable where all you need to do is to write your idea in here. Then go to the editor and you see you get all the videos back. So anybody can easily understand that. And then when you go to the next tab and you actually create the video, you can publish it to TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. That shows a day in the life of a samurai on guard duty, protecting the townspeople from villains, from war. It's a little bit easier to understand for people if you were to go on a sales call and explain it like this. And then by showing how it works, you can just explain here is all the automations that we're running. As you can see all the idea to scenes, you can see the make video with C dance. You can see it right here, redo image button, the generate the video uses all of this. And this is basically what we want to set up for you. And the last publish as well, that has a service called Blotato that publishes to all these different platforms. You will be way better off than to say, hey, first we're gonna set up this one for you and then this and then this and this and this and this. <laughs> and imagine they were to ask on the call, hey, what does this one do? <laughs> if you start showing JSON scripts, that's when you start losing the sale. You have to remember that most people want the results. They don't necessarily want to learn uh, like we do that are automation builders, how to make the automation and fix the automation. They just want the result. This makes the grid view a very simple sales tool as well to help you get more clients. So that's the grid view. Hopefully you got something out of this. Head to your make account right now and check out the grid view for yourself. And uh, if you don't have an account, go down in the description down below to get a make account for free. And if you don't have many make scenarios and you want to make content, highly recommend checking out Vibe Creator that creates social content. Also, we have a lot of make automations inside of here that you can copy and paste. You can pause the video right here and check out all the names yourself from LinkedIn cold outreach to scraping all of social media with just a click of a couple of buttons. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.